This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, Number 43. So here we're asked to write the following expression using summation notation. Okay, so here's our expression. And summation notation, remember, means using sigma with some start, some stop, and some expression here, right? So when you're doing this, you need to look here and see what is the pattern, okay? Well, the pattern I see is just every term is squared, right? Squared, 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 squared. And the dot, dot, dot means every number between it. So the next number is going to be 4 squared plus dot, dot, dot. The one before 9 is going to be 8 squared plus in, inside dot, dot, dot between those. So it's 4 squared, 5 squared, 6 squared, 7 squared, then 8 squared, 9 squared, 10 squared. Okay? So using sigma notation... Right? So this is equal to, I'm going to say this expression is equal to using sigma notation, where are we starting and where are we stopping? Well, we're starting at 1 and stopping at 10, and then we're squaring every number and adding those numbers together. Right? So you have to choose a variable. I know when I stop, I'm going to stop at 10. When I start, I'm going to start where something is equal to 1. Okay, so what variable am I going to choose? I could choose any variable. I could choose A, B, C, D, any letter of the alphabet I want. So right here I'm going to choose, um, let's choose N. Okay, so if N is equal to 1 and goes to 10, right, that's going to be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? Adding in between is just the sigma. So what is my expression that I'm adding? I'm just going to be adding whatever it is squared, right? And what is it that whatever? It's n, right? So here, I'm starting at n is equal to 1, stopping at n is equal to 10, and I'm squaring it every time and adding those together, all right? So let me box my answer, and this is the end of CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, Number 43.